Well, you guys know exactly what time it is. I got this Pinello costume. Thank you to those that donated during the first stream plus the birthday stream. Because I took that and I put it towards getting this costume. I will not fail any of you. Now let's get down to business. Oh no, it's Robot Jones. That used to be a good cartoon. Whatever happened to it? Sheep in the big city. You know, old Cartoon Network is forever going to be a mystery. Shows just started going off. Speaking of going off, uh, please don't one-shot me. These Lufenia bosses have completely switched up. I got a bad feeling about this. As long as I'm alive, there shouldn't be any problem. Don't kill me! 1300, oh god. Ulti, that was an appropriate scream. The first time ever. In the past, I was like, Ulti, why are you screaming bloody murder from getting slapped? It's just a brave attack. But that was a brave HP, and you almost lost all of it. Let's try to get it back up, because he's still focused on ulti. That is not good. What if he does it again? That could be my life. Oh, oh, he stopped floating. He's getting serious. He brought out the kids. So good thing I saved her LD because I got to kill those two. Thank you, LDs. I have four of them, and they allow me to cleanse debuffs and turn her buffs into framed buffs. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what she needed. So let's demonstrate. Even though I'm not debuffed. See, pretty good AoE, plus it batteries afterwards. So not only can you go your skills into EX, you can then go call and then press... Man, this game. There was no point to do that. There really wasn't. I mean, it doesn't hurt me, but my, my old Ultimecia habits, they need to, they need to die. You don't need to do that anymore. She's stronger. Her LD extension is amazing. In fact, all LD extensions are amazing. Her LD now hits HP twice. What more could you ask for? I don't like this. Let's see, we can go in with this. Camera completely switched off of Ramza, so I couldn't see him. Get this split damage off. 26, ew. Ew, that's nasty. It hurts me, but we do need to kill the ads because they have orbs on them. If they pop, I'm dead. Just leave that up to the burst attack. I mean, I could have did an HP attack. But was there a point? See, I'd rather get Ulti and Pinello set up. Okay, I take it back. That was a terrible idea. Yeah, that was a terrible idea because even... Even if I had succeeded, which I did in giving them battery, I got hit with debuffs. 
I, I was thinking about something else. There was no point to do that at all. There was really no point to do that. I don't know. I just thought Ramza wasn't going to hit hard. I was I was trying to be a support. But in that situation, I needed to be a damage dealer. I don't think that mistake's going to hurt me too much. It might leave a magic pixel. It, it's probably going to leave a magic pixel. Man, why did I do that? But like I was just saying, I had a different thought process. I wasn't expecting him to actually... Because this thing is beefy. Even with his burst doing brave damage to all three, I might not have capped. But that's just me underestimating Rams' abilities. Which was a massive mistake. I deserve this pixel. I know it's coming. It's definitely coming. He's floating. He's floating. I don't like that. Holy damage. So it's official. If you press summon after burst. Oh my god. That's more like it. That's what I like to see. Just casually regenerating 66k brave. I'm gonna let Ulti take this. Yeah, we, we, we go old school. Let her take it. Let her take the summon. They don't need it. Because if she takes it, we get Ramza's burst effect to last for an eternity. Now, if nobody understood what I was saying before about lightning's burst, if you take characters like this and put them on the same team as lightning, her burst effect is the most broken one in the game because it lasts for 10 turns. And if Alti's in the front just going and going and just doesn't stop initial D, hairpins drifting around the corner with her EX, what do you think's gonna happen? Alti becomes the most strongest hitting thing in the game for the, the, the duration of a few turns. Ramza's burst effect is five turns. Look how long it's gonna last. Like, look at the abuse. These two characters before Ramza? I can't help but think about the whole lightning scenario I just drew up because it's, it's a real problem. It can be super abusive, super oppressive, even more oppressive than this. That's why I gotta stop picking her. I have played her enough as of lately. But like I said before, supports are back in. I'm done with that overly DPS era of Lufenia that I hated. Let's see, what do we got here? We got a skill 2 into turn rate, please. Ultimacia goes. Burst or EX? Vice versa? I don't think it's going to make a difference. It might... It's probably the same result. It probably is. Because I press... Yeah, that, I had the same thought press. Let's just stop and think for a second. That is excellent, by the way. This might work out. I was thinking about wasting all of her turns right away. Yeah, it's about the same. If I EX and then burst, I still get X amount of free turns, then she goes away. But if I burst and then press EX, I only have to wait until her turn. 
So if the Luffy orbs were pretty low, it would be a bad decision. But since they aren't, it doesn't matter. What? My buffs. It's too late. I need to continue what I was doing. I didn't know he was gonna just like do that and get rid of my buffs. How dare you? But that's what this cleanse is for. Come on guys, can you just do me a favor and die? We got two turns left, oh my god. My stacks are not present. Just press the LD forehead. Now this one should cap at 150k plus easily. 17. 117 plus 72k. God. Guess who's back? With the EX. I think I'm okay. I was slightly conflicted. I thought I made a really huge mistake. But it seems like it worked out. Maybe if I had played around with her burst beforehand, but no! This is the first time using it in a single match. I just know she has Amy's delete a turn mechanic whenever she hits with her burst effect. And would you look at that, Ramza's is still on, and it's ju it just went off. So point proven, right there. If you've got turn cheaters, and oppressive burst buffs, and those turn cheaters keep going before the burst person, They're only meant to be five turns or three or whatever because they're too powerful. It's not cheating, but it is, it's cheap. But I respect it as a tactical advantage, especially since this fool takes no damage. Looking just like my router, how are you sitting there floating taking no damage? I hit you with an attack from above. But he has no turns. He's never gonna get a turn. HJ? Okay, HJ was slightly better. I'm gonna keep this up. Oh, of course, but I should have seen it. So, tell me why I thought he was going to be done with that. Uh-huh. You want to be cheap? I can be cheap, too. You like insta-breaks? Because I know I do. I like insta-breaks. I like turn rates. I love amazing EXs that charge super fast. Oh yeah, this costume is definitely doing it. It's like that that leather suit in the desert. Okay, who thought that was a good idea? Tell me why she's wearing a leather suit in the desert. Do you know what leather does in the heat? There's a reason why everybody there is barely wearing any clothes, because you're in a desert. It's hot. It's 85 degrees in the house right now with the AC on. 
So don't tell me you're not hot with a full leather body suit on in the middle of the desert. There's just no way. Then we got Vaughn over here with a metal vest. How are you not getting your skin burnt? No, your skin should be burnt to a crisp. Metal in the heat. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm giving them. I'm giving them too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. It's just the outfit wasn't working. But this one. This one is definitely better. This is the one from the end of FF12 in specific, but it is still the same one from Revenant Wings. The only difference is she's got open toe sandals from the Konoha Village of Instant Animations while having tattoos on her arms. But in Revenant Wings, the tattoos are gone and the toes are more closed. Aside from that, the overall outfit is exactly the same. And no, this is not the Tactics A21. She has blue pants and the shirt is completely different. But saying this is a Revenant Wings costume, in the end of FF12, they're both the right choice. Because the costume itself is still the same. But with the tattoos, yeah, it is the end of FF12. So at this point, he's done. There's nothing he can do. You're at the mercy of Pinello spinning. You're at the mercy of Ulti spinning with her LV. Plus, we just got a launch. Get this guy Skynet. He needs some backup. You can't do it alone. You should have brought friends. Ouch. I don't have her Luffy armor. See, I hadn't even noticed it until now. That pixel's about to get me. Okay, I know it's gonna sound messed up, but I do deserve it this time. Because I made that mistake from earlier. I should not have hit Ramza's skill 2 in the burst. I had a completely different thought process and it did not play out well. Because what he did was he sat there and he dropped the poison on us anyways. The battery became irrelevant because I forgot Pinello had her EX up. So mistakes. It's just heretics, heretics, I don't like it. I don't record it for a reason. Especially after that stupid Sephiroth one. Because I could have went a lot harder than this. But yeah, definitely held back to an extent. Victory is ours. What? Did she just teleport? Is that a part of the dance routine? Square Enix? I need answers? <laughs>